Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another episode here on the Juice Fitters Garage. We are back at Irwindo Drag Strip and well, we're gonna try out the underdrive pulley and hopefully it made the car go faster. But first, let's pass tech. Okay, so it's, it's just, just an MSD. Just an intake manifold, that's it. Okay. Alrighty. Alright guys, so we passed tech. Nothing dangerous in our build. So uh, now we have to go show our license and get a wristband. Thank you. All right, guys, we got a wristband. It's time to go racing. All right, guys, and I actually found my friend uh, George. If you guys remember him, he's the guy who bet 50 bucks uh, for me to beat the Mustang and actually lost 50 bucks because I lost. He's here too, and he brought his Camaro. Check it out. I think this is his. So it's a fifth gen Camaro. Um, I believe it has like a 408 stroker or a 416 or something like that, but it's a stroker motor. So we'll find him right now or he'll find us for sure. Uh, he came deep with a whole bunch of Camaros. Check this one out. We got a nice F body here, the Manta stripe. Ooh, a ZL1, icing down the blower. What's up brother, how's it going? Got a BMW, got a Coyote, got a Supra. It's a Supra! Got a Sunset Orange Metallic Camaro. Nice. This appears to be like a, I want to say like a 0102 because there's no EGR. Usually the earlier ones had EGR tube coming out of the intake manifold. So I think that has to be like a later model 2000 or an 0102. Oh, we got an LT1 in black. Looks nice. Got a Camaro with the LS swap. Nice. I love to see these uh, third gens with LS swaps. I just feel the motor suits them very well. This one could probably use a little bit more of a custom cold air intake. Maybe my friend KP Fab could fab them one um, to get rid of this accordion. But aside from that, it's a, it's a nice build. I like it. Oh, it has a roll cage and everything. Nice. What is this over here? LS3 Camaro RS. Oh, on the bottle. So this one's on nitrous. Very beautiful car. A lot of Camaros here today. Um, nice little uh, club showed up over here. Pretty neat. Hey, ya viene, ya viene tu rival, eh? Ahí viene, ahí viene el Callaway Z01. Oh, we're having fun. <laughs> the Z01, the Z01 is going up against yeah, the yeah. other Camaro over there. Okay, guys. So what we're gonna do right now is adjust tire pressure, pop the hood, let the car cool down. We're actually at 97 degrees today at Irwindale, so the odds are set against us for running a better time. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, also, found my buddy's Camaro back here, so uh, maybe we'll catch a run with him again. So let's get this car ready to go racing. You can feel the heat. I knew it was you guys. How's it going, bro? What's up, brother? How you doing? What's up, bro? All right, guys. So we're going to race the Rapid Blue Camaro SS once again. He has a few more mods this time. Um, bro, you're still not on a tire, though, huh? Yeah. Tire's going to hurt you. Uh, but you got an intake now, right? Yeah. Can we see it? He's not an underground grudge racer, so he's able to show us his engine. <laughs> hey, the Kelowna, yeah, everyone. All right, guys, let's set up some GoPros. All right, guys, we are on Rapid Blue versus Rapid Blue Prime. Picking up on the hacks.
All right, guys, that was a really good race. Uh, he actually was right next to me, side by side, uh, for a little bit, and uh, and he's on a stock tire on a stock wheel. That Super Sport was moving. Um, it took like I would think it was like third third gear when I actually kind of got away from him. But I have a lot more mods than he does, and that car is 100% bone stock with a cannon, cold there. So pretty impressive. Hopefully, guys, we went faster though. Our our goal here is to beat a 7.675. That's our fastest we ran so far. So I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping we could beat that. So 7.675 is the goal to beat. You do have a helmet. Did they put your window on it? No, they didn't. Hold on. 7.623. <laughs> almost, guys. Almost. 7.623 and 95. Wow, 95. I've never hit 95 miles an hour before. Wow, that's pretty good. So the pulley is helping, guys. But like I said, today is a really hot day. When we got here, it was 97 degrees. Um, right now, it's probably in the 80s. I have to check. Uh, but uh, it did cool down a little bit but not bad 7.623 and 95 and again guys we threw mods at this car and this car is not tuned yet so not bad at all guys not bad at all let's go back and line up all right guys i hate to hot lap but we're gonna go ahead and pop the hood real quick just let it cool down real quick and let me talk to my buddy real quick bro you were on me for a cool minute bro yeah <laughs> that i think the super sport has to have higher gear ratio because you were on me, bro. I forgot which one it has, because it tells you. But... I think it does, over the LT1. What did you turn? I forgot to, to, to check. What then? What did you turn? What did you run? Oh, 7.9. Dude, no way! <laughs> Dude, you ran a 7.90, bro. Gee! Congratulations, with big a full dog. Tank. <laughs> with, with, hey, <laughs> with a full tank of gas on a street tire. Yeah. Full weight, no weight reduction done whatsoever. The guy even has a bag of Doritos in there. Dude, no way, dude. Yeah. How does it feel to be in the seven second club? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, bro? It was a good race. Hey, he, like, he was keeping up. Like, yeah. He hey, and he pulled it off yeah. in freaking 90 degree weather, bro. Yeah, it's hot. What's the temperature at right now? 83. 83? Oh, so oh, no, it pulled down. down at 80. We're at 80. We're at 80. Okay, cool. Yeah, but still, it's pretty warm. Sheesh. Old boy went 790s. Dude. When I first met you, you ran a freaking... 7.4. No, hey, 7. I mean, not 7. I mean, that's 8.4. 8.4, yeah. 8.4. Yeah. And then you put the intake, and then you went 8.1. 8.0. It was 8.9. 8.09. 8.09. Now you went 7.90. Sheesh! On a hot day. like a good pass guys that was a 750 pass that was a 750 for sure that was 7.599 for sure thanks brother right 7.7 and 92.82 Car fell fast, guys, but it didn't run faster. It ran a 77. So, like I said earlier, this car does not like to hot lap. 
so it was expected but we did see more mile an hour and a little bit faster time on the first pass so definitely cars definitely improving but i think i think that's it for tonight guys uh the track was down for most of the day and well i doubt i'm going to be able to get another pass because the, the line is super huge and um they're probably not going to let us go in anymore so it is what it is but uh the car felt good guys um and well what can i say guys thanks for joining us always appreciate you guys hanging out with us here at Irwindale drag strip while we race our car and test our cars out and yeah i'll see you guys next time later guys